In this lesson, we will learn about arrays in AutoHotKey. First, we will create a script. So right-click on your desktop. We click New, AutoHotKey Script. Right-click on the icon and then click Edit Script. First, we will have a hotkey that will start our script. I'll just choose Control-Q, it doesn't matter. Then we will have something that end our script, return, and now we can add something to it. So um, we will have uh, our array, choose a name, I'll choose ARR, and then we can fill something in it. An array is, also, is always started by a square bracket and ended by one. So this is an empty array, there's nothing in it right now. But let's um, try to see what we can do. So we will just print out a, a message box here with the first element of the array. I know that's nothing, so it will be blank, but we will fill in in a minute. So message box, then a percentage sign, then we will choose the name of the array, ARR. Then we will have these hard brackets again. We will choose one and we will end it. So this one will take the first element from the array. So click Control S, save it. Then we will run it here. And we can press Control Q and we can see that it's indeed blank. But let's try to fill something in the array to see that it actually works. And what we'll do is that if it's text, we will uh, have each text element in a quotation marks. So alpha, beta, Charlie, and you can see oh, quotation marks. And you can see here that we uh, I've separated each of uh, these elements by comma. So alpha, beta, Charlie, three elements in our array. I'll save it. And I will update it. Now I'll run it and we can see that we had the alpha here in the message box. And again, we could change this to a tree, save it, update the script and then run it. And we address the Charlie with this tree. So that was fairly easy. We could also change these to numbers. So one, two, and then maybe 1024, whatever. Save it and we'll update it and run it. And we can see because we addressed the third element of the array and that is this one. And what you notice here that when we work with numbers, we don't use the quotation marks. We addressed that in a previous lesson, but uh, let me just repeat it. And let me change this array back to text. So alpha, beta, Charlie, like this, that is easy. Then we uh, wanna add an item to this array. So uh, why don't we, I'll just uh, add some uh, spaces here so it's easier to look at uh, for this example. So I wanna add something to the array. So I'll type in the name, then the dot, and then we'll have the push. This one will add uh, something to the array and I'll just choose Delta like this and then uh, close parentheses again. So let me address the fourth element and let me recap what's actually going on. So we start the script here by control Q, then we create the array alpha, beta, Charlie, then we add a delta to it. So now it consists of four elements, alpha, beta, Charlie, delta, and in this message box will print out the fourth element. So I'll save it, update the script and press control Q to run it. And we can see that we indeed address this delta thing. Usually we are not addressing specific elements in the array. We will usually loop through each one of these elements in the array. So uh, why don't we do that here? And what we'll say is that we'll say for index and then element in the array. Let me explain this. This is a pair. So um, you can see this as a dictionary in other programming languages. And what a dictionary is, is just that it have a key and an associated value. So this is the key, the index. Um, the index is having numbers, so that is, this is index one, index two, index three, and index four. And you can, uh, maybe you can figure out what the element is, and that is of course the associated value to that key. So the element uh, associated with key one is alpha, key two uh, with, with key two, that is beta, and so on. So this one will loop through each of the um, elements in the array and then we can print it out to a message box. So again, message box, percentage sign, and we can print out the element. Remember that was the name here, that was the alpha. So we'll just say element, then a dot that is concatenate, so we will uh, combine something. 
Then we'll have quotation marks now. We just write whatever we want is a number with a space in. And then we'll have dot more, and then we can address the index. So this one says that we have the element, that is the name, alpha, for example. Then we'll say alpha is number, and then we'll take the index. Remember, the index is associated to this element and backwards. So uh, the index is 1, it says alpha is number 1. Then we uh, loop through this entire thing. And um, so it will print out alpha is number 1, beta is number 2, Charlie, and so on. Let me save it, and I can show it to you. I'll update the script here and then press Ctrl Q. Alpha is number one, beta is number two, Charlie is number three, and again delta is number four. So that was easy. We uh, sometimes often need to read things uh, from a file into an array, and I created this little file here, just called data. Uh, this is a text document with three lines in it. Do this. Echo, Foxtrot, Golf. And we want to add each item to this array over here and then print them out again. And what we'll do here is that we will maybe we should do it to here. We will say loop and then read. And what we want to loop and read through is this file here. So let me go in here, shift right click and then copy as path. Then we'll get the path of this file because AutoHotKey needs to know where to read. So I'll paste it in. I will remove these quotation marks and then we can uh, have the next line and we will add so each of these lines we will add to the array so again AR push we saw that before and we will use the a loop read line and what this contains is the contents of the Q and line so we are looping through each line up here we can uh, do that with the loop um, so each line in this file, and then we will add the content of um, each line to the array. So let us see that in action. That is maybe a bit more exciting. And let me um, update the script here. I'll run it. So alpha is number one. Well, that was uh, like it was before. Beta is number two. Charlie is number three. Delta is number four. And now the exciting part uh, takes place because we had three more. So we have echo is number five. Foxtrot is number six and golf is number seven. Bingo. Let me recap what we did here. We started the script with a control Q. And it's just to activate the script. Then we create an array with alpha, beta, Charlie. Then we added another element to it, delta. Then we looped through each line in this file. And you can see the address is here. That is easy. And then what we, um, we we took each the content of each line and added to the array, and then here we printed out each element in the array. So we said for index that was the key and the associated value element in this array. We printed out a message box where we said that alpha is number one, beta is number two, and so on. And then return ended the script. So in this lesson, you learn to create an array, you learn to fill something in it, you learn to use numbers in an array. You learn to uh, add items to the array, you learn to read from the array, and finally you learn to read a file and add uh, lines of that file to the array.